Hi folks! Today I bring with you another 7 segments display driver used in DVD players. This driver reference is ETK6207, belongs to the ETEC Microelectronics and it has up to 7 grids and 14 segments. It gives us the opportunity to use the 6 buttons. The code needed to control it is very simple and basic. In this panel implemented the visualization of the seconds and minutes, but easily changed to hours and minutes by changing the order of variables A0, A1, 2, F0, F1. In response to a request for help, this panel has activated the infrared receiver with the power on off of some systems you, ca you can control. Uh, the panel use is very easy and versatile. Uh, I let with you the, the sequence so which is possible do it uh, with the code present in the Arduino. The infrared is here and uh, in this case this infrared uh, work with uh, 3.3 volts by this reason I connect here to the um, Arduino in the pin of the 3.3 uh, volts it is pin here the, the the remaining circuit is powered by uh, 5 volts dc and uh, i'm using the the um, this uh, bar of the leds uh, to indicate the activation of the 10 ports of the arduino in this case i'm using the port uh, d2 3 4 5 and 6 and after I skip to the port uh, C and use the C0, C1, 2, 3 and 4. Um, the code to receive the, the information uh, by the infrared is uh, based in the uh, library uh, of the Arduino. And um, the code uh, allow to uh, switch on or off um, point by point of this uh, grid, for example, the value 0, when I press the 0, uh, activate or deactivate the, the, the position, um, the position, uh, the first position of the bar. The 1 is the second position, 3, 4, five and so on okay i um, implement here in this button the the switch off of the all uh, pins and uh, also implement uh, the sequence of the bar activate uh, uh, bit by bit okay to reach the the lead 10 and after you can regrid the, the the position, okay? This is the code uh, implemented in the, the, the Arduino and this is only a, a test of the concept. Um, but with this, uh, this um, kind of the software and if you use the, to connect the, the, the system you need, you can activate uh, until 10 lights, for example, uh, uh, or you can control the, the, the step of the um, speed of the motor, what, what you need, okay? This is the process of um, read the buttons. You can see here, in the second byte, the, the, the bit corresponding to the position um, 2, 6, byte 2 and uh, bit 6, okay? The button corresponding to the position 0, 6, you have here in the first byte the position 6 and so on. This is the process to read the buttons and uh, take the, 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 the code um, necessary to do this action. You, you read the byte, 
you compare the byte with your code and activate or deactivate on the function you need okay in the buttons uh, i only have uh, implemented uh, three functions in this case is increment minutes decrement minutes and uh, reset okay if i press reset here you see the zero zero values in display increment minutes and the decrement minutes okay you can adapt the functions of the buttons uh, adjusting the code present in the each uh, function uh, related with the, 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 the code received from the, the panel to the Arduino okay you can see here the byte and the bit uh, corresponding to the position of the button okay this button here will activate the bit 6 in the second byte and here for example you will see this button here belongs to the first byte the position of the bit 6 the, this button here will be the first byte bit of the position 3 this is uh, byte 1 bit position 3 and this is byte 1 bit of position 6 okay the power of, of the infrared uh, is uh, done with 3.3 volts dc coming from the arduino um, and in the board here in the panel uh, um, exists one resistor with a 3.3 ohm 330 ohms to polarize the, the the infrared receiver the infrared signal or in this case the output of the signal coming from the uh, receiver of the infrared go through one resistor of 1k ohms um, and go uh, to the pin 11 of the arduino but after the resistor of the 1k it exists one resistor of 10 kappa 10 kappa to the vcc the connections necessary to bring the the panel to life again is um, is easy and you can uh, see here in the this small connector this is connector to the 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 satin cable in this case i connect the edge direct to the the pins of the the connector but you can see for example here the the first pin is the indicator of the power gnd plus 5 volts 3.3 volts gnd infrared gnd again strobe clock gnd data in that out okay to use the data in in that out because in the arduino i only have one pin to receive the 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 data in that out in this case is the pin 7 uh, is necessary to put two resistors between these two pins um, and connect to the pin 7 okay and this is enough to 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 bring the life of the panel